Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in our past video, I just show you that how we can send a message uh, from API to your Facebook pages, right? So that implementation, we are going to implement from the service now. So service now have a tables. I have a table in the service now. So whenever any message will be posted on the table from service now, the same message should be sent to the Facebook. So let's get started. So in our past video, you saw that we created this uh, access token and posting the message to our page through the postman, right? And when we click the get code from the C URL, we get that code and copy and try to hit the page and it is hitting that uh, to the server and it is posting the message to our Facebook, right? So we'll do that the same way. So before we started to the service implementation, I would suggest that please go and watch my previous video that how we can generate the access token and how we can get the long term token so that it won't be expired uh, for 60 days. So normally whenever we get the token, that token will be expired in one uh, hour, but you can get, uh, you can click the info icon and get the uh, token tools and then you can make that uh, long term token which will be expired in 60 days okay so make sure that if you are implementing on the your external uh, application make it the long term token okay also some of uh, of you ask me that how we can along with the message how we can post the link to the facebook right how we can um, put some links to our page for that uh, we need to add one more parameter along with the message message parameter is the one parameter that is actually sending your message right uh, like whatever text you are pushing along with that if you want to put some text or some links sorry some links you should add additional parameter one more additional parameter so let's do that link post so I am just updating this text message and here I should add one more key called link and in this link uh, I have to put that the link that link I want to post into the Facebook so our case I am just putting that facebook.com and so once I hit the uh, submit button it will be posted to the page along with that link so let so this time I'll go to the service now and go to the rest message and create a rest message and the rest message I'll put that Facebook as a name so endpoint I'll put that whole text and save that once I save that you see that uh, this is coming that C URL I exposed we should remove all those stops okay so we'll do one by one so if you see there is by default one get method is created I will create a new method called post method because here we are actually doing the post method right so we'll do that post method create Facebook message and here in the endpoint I'll paste the whole text again remove this uh, dot C URL part and this access token will replace I just remove that uh, as a access token equal to dollar token and here this message I'll remove and put the message and click save so now you can see this is our endpoint this is our page ID this is our basically uh, feed and here is the two variable one is the message and the another is the token right click and click auto generate variable token and here I should be put the message hi and the token I should pass the token from this grab API I'll copy this token and paste here and now I'll click the test 
once I click the test you can see it is actually hitting to the server Facebook server and it if I refresh this Facebook page you will be able to see that the message hi is posted here now what is our requirement um, if I go to the announcement table there is a announcement table into the service now whenever any announcement record will be created we should send to the Facebook okay so let's do that I'll go to the business rule first create a business rule name should be Facebook post and here the table should be announcement table and it should trigger on the insert of the table and on the advance and I want to change to async what does it mean by async async means that it will be sit it will be a hit to the server as like a after business rule after, so whatever process will be there the it will run if there is any other business it will be run but parallelly async business rule will be run it won't be hold other business rule other stops okay and here I will put that code my code okay so in the asset announcement table I'll get the summary first this is our summary I'll get the summary and this summary I'll post to my Facebook so I'll get that summary okay and then uh, what I'll do I'll do a encode for that okay and put a lock and here I'll write the code to send the message right so I'll go here go back to this rest message and click the preview script uses copy this whole code and paste here remove this hard-coded value token will be there and this message I'll just replace with something sum click the format to format the code this token you can put in a property or any other case later okay just save that now in this announcement record I'll just hi title I'll also put the hi and from date I'll just put the today's date so this doesn't matter so actually we are going to put the summary hi this message from service now once I hit the submit it should trigger the API I'll go back and go to the systems logs first I'll check that how it is presenting so you can see this message is converted to a encoded URL and then if I refresh this page the page should have that message so you can see the page have this message which is posted from the service now so whenever you uh, update any record or whenever you um, put any message it will hit to that sub uh, Facebook and create or post a message so that's how you can send your announcement from ServiceNow to the Facebook page thank you very much have a great day if you have any comments please let me know in my comment sections